All right, so, quick update on the camper. It's uh, Wednesday today. I'm off work. Wednesday the 31st it is. As you can see, I've been working, right? I've missed a bit of footage, guys. This is just an area where I've been doing the camper van. But I've missed some footage because I've had a bloody issue with my camera. With my camera. Anyhow, I just thought I'd do a quick update on where we are and what we're doing. The toilet is in position. It is not wired and it is not fixed. It lifts out of that hole. I've built the walls and I've started battening the back walls. Obviously, this is not the finish. This is old timbers from the floor and the walls and all sorts. That's why it's like sealed up and stuff. The plumbing is in for the shower mixer because that's where that's going to be. Um, as I say, this is old timber because this is going to be covered with plastic. There's going to be a wall there where my foot is to there. So this will all be a wall here, okay? And that will be a sliding door that goes this way. The toilet, the idea is that when you're weeing, you wee with the toilet facing that way. And when you're finished, you spin the toilet out of the way that way. So that you've got that area to shower in. The shower mix is gonna come out about there. So you've still got a fair old area. Look, we're in the shower now, guys, you know what I mean? Still got a fair old area, even with the door closed, I can get in. The only trouble I have is my head. I'm almost touching that light there. So I'm thinking of putting the shower head sort of here. The mixer there, long hose, and the shower head here so that the shower head comes like that. But we'll have to put a piece of board here to stop the water going out the door so you step in to the shower. Anyhow, that will all come to light anyhow. But yeah, this will all be plasticed, cladded uh, vertically. So like strips of cladding, like you use fascia type thing, but I'm hoping to get something with a bit of silver in it and all that lot. It looks quite nice when you look back here, doesn't it? Then the fridge will go here, which will be under the bed. So I've got the rafters going in here. La 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 la, water heater. Load of plumbing utensils going to be done. Water pumps going there, diesel heaters going here. So that there'll be a, a circle cut in there. So when you look here, the units will go like that. But then there there'll be a heater and there there'll be a heater. So it'll heat the shower bit if it's winter and it will heat the cab in the mornings. Heat all this area here. Under the bed, obviously, this area will warm that area. I have catches now. They are here. They're the magnetic ones, so I've got magnet ones. But I realised, if you look at that, I've messed up. So I need to move the hinges this way more. And then that door will shut naturally like that one is, the hinges are a little bit in a better place, perhaps this end is, but that end isn't. Anyhow, that will all happen, it's all fine. Um, bed will go in, we may choose to put, we're gonna put definitely put something here because this, this was an old bit of timber I used. So we're gonna have a trim on here, so this looks nice. And again, this will be backed off with something and it will carry on along here, to, like a splashback for the kitchen. So the hob will go here, the kitchen sink will go here with the mixer tap, and the mixer tap will come out and go up and over, thus allowing, if that's the centre of the kitchen tap, tap, thus allowing you, if the tap is here, to pull the hose out the tap, stand out here and shower off your feet if you've been to the beach rather than getting in the van and making a mess. Um, this bit here where the line is, is going to be a, a, a raised floor to make this step less. So I'll probably finish it there. It's just to make that step less, so you can um, get onto your chairs better. Also, when you're sitting on your chairs, because you have to kind of lift up to get onto your chairs, you know what I mean? Because it's quite high, you'll be able to step onto that and you'll just fall onto the chair as you normally would. So this is going to be the seating area where I am now. There will be, obviously it's raised up, there'll be a table which folds out so that it can be across this seat so if you're here you'll have the table i'm going to put the camera down here so you can kind of visualize it a little bit better let's see let's see where we are uh can you see can you not i don't know let's tip it up a little bit there you go so yeah sitting here guys the table will be about like that but it will fold back that way and then remove and hang on the wall so you, you'll have your table out here. If we're sitting eating our dinner, 
you know, Sadie will be there, I will be here, eating my dinner, she will eat hers there, the table will be a fair square, but it'll fold away, um, this bit will come back over this way, it'll have a leg that pops out, so you can um, eat your dinner, uh, the handle here to pull up if you want to get up, Anyhow, when the table, then the table will slide away like that. You get up and then you pat the table away when you finish with it. Now, so with that in mind, here, I was thinking of a small TV. And here, drop down, small TV, 21 inch. You know, I'm going to measure that. If not, I'm going to screw a TV to the wall there, 21 inch. The only thing I'm worried about is kicking it with my feet. But, or I have a spin round one that goes... So I put a mechanism here and have a 21 inch that comes around that pillar. Don't know yet, not sure. It's getting all very dusty. I've decided I'm gonna remove the parrot kit and just use the stereo with the microphone system that's up there because the parrot just seemed to interfere with the kit that I've bought uh, the, to make all the stalk controls work. This bit here is gonna be some form of wardrobe cupboard thing. Obviously I can only come out to say here with it because I don't want to, so I'll probably come along here, like so, and build some shelving and cupboards or whatever, and maybe there'll be another shelving system here and a little bit of shelving system here, just to put spices and stuff in for cooking, sauces and stuff. And then above here, I'm going to mould all this in and cloak it all with the carpet so you can't see it. So what I'll do, I'll probably cut that bit of plastic, fill this with timber, put a batten on here, and then carpet over the top to make the two joins so that this looks part of this. As I say, that's all going to be covered, so that won't matter. That's going to be covered, so that won't matter. This will all be plasticed, door will be fitted. In here, I'm probably going to fit, I may go with a sliding door system. I don't know yet, I don't know. Or if I remove this plastic thing, it might give me a bit more room. I'm looking in there, it might give me a bit more room, but then that plastic thing is quite a good place to chuck things, maybe cook covers and things like that, extra a blanket or two, um, silly things. I've got to sort this out. That's got to be pegged back up. But on a whole, I'm getting there, but it's very slow progress. This is an updated video. There is video showing how I've done things, you know, how I've screwed things in and all that, and what timber I've used and how the lights go in. I'm on, finish this bathroom, want to clad it all out. Then I can build this last wall, clad that. Then I can get a door sorted for it. So that's that. And then I can get in here and do the electrics, the plumbing, run a set of hot and colds here, build the unit here. As you can see, it's, it's happening. It is coming along. The van is absolutely bloody filthy. I want to wash it. But I'm kind of... Oh, and I've got some ramps down. A friend of mine's built a set. So I've got them off him so I can get underneath and whack the tanks in. So that's no problem as well. The tanks will go in over the next few days. I'm hoping Saturday and Sunday to have a good crack at it. Although it's my granddaughter's birthday on Saturday, so I'll probably get in trouble if I start working on the camper van when she's here. Perhaps, perhaps after. As you can see, look, put the catches on, see them catches. But they don't quite work as nice as I wanted them to. So these are the trials and tribulations. Look, see that unit move? I'm going to put a screw in the middle of that. This side's not so bad. See that, I think the catch will work perfect on that because I've got the hinges in the right spot. I was trying to keep everything tight and then I've got, um, once all that's all done, I've got to bolt this one in. I've got to put a hole in the wall here and then go down underneath the van and that's the filling system for the water system. Um, yeah. Then I've got to finish off this back step and paint it all and then I want to put some metal on here. You know the, I don't know what they call it, corrugated metal type stuff, I don't know. Anyhow, we're getting there, guys. But as I say, it's taking a bit of time to get to. Um, it's taking probably longer than I thought. However, I'd set a target of the 1st of June, which is tomorrow. But I've been away for three weeks of that. So I think the 1st of July is more feasible for getting it done on time and in sink oh look pikeys have arrived some some campers i don't know who they are just turn up turn up on your drive unannounced don't even know who they are have you booked a pitch have you have you 
You book you booked a pitch for your camper, are you camping are you? Yeah. Oh good, I've cut the grass in there, you can stay in there then, okay. Yeah, Lovely. Morning all. It's update time on the van. So as you will see from here, I mean, look at all this mess I'm working. It's in a bit of a mess at the moment because I was working on it with Sunday. That's the solar panel, but it's not on the roof. What the hell's gone on here? Anyhow, maybe we should have a quick look then, shall we? Yep. I don't know if you can see that, guys, but there's two new panels on there, bigger ones. So, basically, that was the kit that I bought originally, but it was only 100 watt. So I removed that 100 watt and put two 170 watts. So I've now got 340 watt on the van of solar panel. If I go back here, you can get a better look of it. If I walk up the drive a bit. Can you see on top of the van? I've got one going, here comes the finger again. One going sideways, because they're one meter by 1.3 meters. So the 1.3 spans sideways, the other one's going long ways because I've got the vent and that. Anyhow, good stuff. So today, I just need a quick clear up. As you can see, look, there's been some more wiring going in. There's a fuse box there, a few more wires dragged through, some pipe work gone through the base of the fridge. Uh, some pipe work been done over here. I think I've done this anyhow. Uh, lights been fitted. So these are USB here and you just touch them or touch them and you spin them for a different velocity light or whatever. But there's two of them over the bed. One for me, one for Sade. I haven't decided who's sleeping where yet. Obviously, I've explained the bed base will not go in until all of the electrics, batteries, LPG stuff, heater, the lot is done. Then it'll go in. I've started work on the catches. I don't like them at all. They're shit. As much as it closes, I don't like it. I want something better. So I'm looking on the market for something better. I want them to stay shut all the time because look, even with adjustments, I can't get them to go how I want them to. Anyhow, we'll come to that later. I'll, I'll find something that I like. Right, so a little bit of a clean up over here and then I'm going to get on with something on the bathroom.
so as you can see I've started cladding the walls I think that looks quite nice you can use this stuff either vertical or horizontal I've chose vertical I've just got a bit of a clamp in there because I've glued it at this bit this point here obviously there's going to be a wall here so it's going to have another piece of clad in so when you look inside you'll effectively see from the inside more like that sort of finish but it'll be flush because I'll cut that square to suit the wall but so you're looking like that and then I'll seal it with white silicone same at the back obviously this has got trim on the end but at the back what you'll see is that and that'll be sealed up nicely and it'll go down to the toilet around beyond the toilet so it's sort of similar to that kind of finish there actually like that sort of thing so it'll be all nicely sealed up not yeah it should look all right actually guys however this was 44 quid a pack i've used three lengths uh what have i got left in this pack one piece and there's four bits in a pack this mm, a lot of waste because them short bits there are no good to nothing however they could go around the sink so they may they may come into fruition later but one wall 40 quid two wall 40 quid three walls 80 quid because oh actually if i've got one and i get three more drops out of it, it's 250 wide you can buy it in full eight before sheets, but I just didn't like the idea of having to piss around with eight before sheets, I've got to be honest. Now what I'm gonna do is whip the toilet out and put that back board in, so we can see what that looks like. But I have to work that way, because you have to work to the concertina, because otherwise you can't get any fixings on it. So there you go. Anyhow, we're getting there, guys. It's taking shape now, I'm sure you'll agree. I think there might have been an explosion, guys. Look at the state of the bloody van. Unreal. Uh, it's just because I've been busy. I mean, even my own van's filthy. Look, that's not like me. My van's normally immaculate. Anyhow, I've got timber everywhere. I was sorting some old cable out. I've got the electrics half out. I'm going to have a quick clean up, tidy up. And then I'm going to get on with some stuff. I want to try and get the gas line through here to here, because I'm cutting a bottle there, and bolt that back in. I want to try and get some of the plumbing done today. I'm waiting on some of this plastic arriving. It's not going to get till Tuesday. It's now Saturday. I think it's Saturday the 10th today. Yeah, Saturday the 10th of June. <coughs> Lights have gone in. Catch cupboards. I'm still not happy with the catches. I need some of this trim to go on here because it looks tatty as fuck. Sorry. As you can see, I've done just bits and bobs, guys. Bits and bobs. But I'm going to try and make a concerted effort to make sure the camera's on all the time now because I keep lapsing with it. Um, I've done a lot of the wiring through and that. Anyhow, it looks like rain to be honest with you guys. It looks like rain. Hmm, not sure. We'll see. Anyhow, let's get you on a time lapse while I clean up. So, as I've mentioned before, I'm having a gas bottle over this side. This is the intention. The intention is to bring the gas bottle over there. So what I'm going to do, I've got some fittings. The gas pipe is down there. You see that down there? I'm just going to see if I've got a fitting that fits it, which I bought the other day. Right, let's set this off here for a minute. Right, let me show you something. Let me show you something guys. So when I bought this heater, 
it should have come with various things one being something to connect the gas to so I've had to go and get a fitting to get onto the gas I don't think this is going to work to be honest guys Jesus <laughs> this is pissing me off it is there should be a nut and olive that goes on there you see because that 10, 8 mil pipe fits inside but every nut and olive that I've got doesn't fit the thread which is really really annoying and frustrating see look the nut doesn't go on and I'm thinking there's a special fitting that you have see that there who knows what's meant to go on that now so it's not quite that thread because I thought what I'd do is I'd put a female line onto it like so now don't get me wrong I could probably make that fit but we're talking about why should I see look that would probably go on but then I stand a chance of breaking this this is a solenoid here I think all this side comes off but it's so bloody annoying because all the nuts and olives don't fit and I've got various different types and sizes guys yeah I really have got a few different ones so the moral of the story is I'm a gas engineer and even I'm pissed off with it excuse my friend so yeah what I'm saying is I mean I'm a gas engineer if anybody should know I should know but I'm going to have to contact Truma and see what fitting they have to go on it. It says it's an 8mm 8 8mm 8 fitting. But it's frustrating it is. Really frustrating. Because what I want to do, I want to run the gas pipe over here and have it sticking out here. So come across the top like that. Have it sticking out here so that my gas bottle can just sit there. Now, obviously a lot of people don't do gas bottles. A bit, a bit baggy there. A lot of people don't do gas bottles, they go with the tanks. Budget constraints, etc, etc. I've spent a bloody fortune on the van. I'm going to use a bottle for now. A little dumpy bottle. I'm only running a gas hob and this gas water here. So I'm not really going to use gallons and gallons and gallons and gallons of gas. However, eventually, I'll remove the gas bottle, drop the pipe under the floor, and where the spare wheel well is there, I'll take that spare wheel out and put it on the back door and fit a circular tank in there. Budget permitting. I'm trying to keep this to a fair budget, you know what I mean? Anyhow, the other problem that I had was, being a plumber, these pipes here are 12 mil connections. Everything I've done is in 15. Stupid caravan connections, 12 mil. I don't understand it, why they don't just use normal 15 mil pipe like every man and his dog uses, or 10 mil plastic or whatever. Anyhow, they use 12 mil. So there are 10 mil flanges on there, but you've got this hose thing that's got to go outside, I presume. Yeah, I think that's got to go just through the floors and uh, like a vaporising hose. It's just annoying. Really, really annoying. Pissed me off it has. Anyhow, it is what it is. We've got 15 mil, not... Uh, we've got 10 mil, not 15 mil. So I've had to buy 10 metres of 15, 10 mil, uh, 12 mil, and some 12 to 15 reducers, which have come in today. So I can take it all back up to the right size, but look, it is what it is, guys. I want it to be 15 mil. You want right pressure and bore and stuff like that. Everything you buy is 15 mil. I mean, this fitting's annoyed me, and this fitting's annoyed me. I wouldn't fit one of these Truma heaters again. I would go with the diesel heater with the matrix on it. I will stay away from these. When it came, it came with bits missing. Oh, I don't know, annoying. But there you go. Right, let's get on with something. I want to have a little look at this plumbing while we're down here. I want to make sure that is a vapour pipe that goes outside. I'm pretty sure it is. But there you go. Right, anyhow. So, Ryan's just come back. So I've convinced him that him and his girlfriend could stand at the back here and watch me reverse the van onto these legs. Now, what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Don't let the dog out! Right, put the camera there. So basically what they've got to do is they've got to put the feet like this. And just go like that. And I'll reverse up slowly. 
what could go wrong here? Once it's on, it's on. It's getting it on. Reverse it up, nice and slow. Keep your feet level, job's a good one. Here he comes. We need Tina as well. Time to come out. What could possibly go wrong here? Nothing. Nothing could go wrong, could it? I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah. Could break their legs. Could break the van. The van could topple over. Lots of different things going through my mind here. But, I don't know. I don't want to be negative or anything. But what could possibly go wrong? Here come the muscle. They two are going to help me. Right. So this is what you've got to do. Yeah. All you've got to do is put your foot like that so yeah. that doesn't slide back when I drive up. One that side, one this side. Okay. Obviously, don't leave your foot there when uh, when it's up. All right? Yeah. So one here where my foot is, that's it, just like that. And it's one not there. Move, is it? They might try and slide back, that's, that's why you put your foot there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Normally they'd be okay, but you just never know. And talk to me. All right, come on, Cindy, you're on that one, you're on that one, right? Don't let it move. Don't hold the van. What could the go van's wrong? Gonna move. It's all on camera. We've got YouTube watching. The whole world knows you're there, so let's cock it up. Oh, shit. Let's see what happens. Ain't started the van for weeks, Ryan. Yeah. And then when do I put metal away? When it's up. Okay. Oh, God. Can I put my hand here? I don't know. There we go. All right. Okay, I've got this. Right then. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Yeah. No, just move it away there, wait there, wait there. Mine's not off your seat, it's fine. Mine's wait. fine. Make sure it's level, we'll see you guys. I'm putting my foot there, it's just... Yeah, go on. No, 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 no. What the fuck's that? Every time you drive onto it, it lifts up in the air. But you've got to put your foot on it. I have to put your foot on, on the thing. Inside, inside. Not on... Wait. On here. Where? On here. Yeah, I like this. Try it now. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's on. Mine's on. Mine's a bit dodge. Stop. Yeah. You can watch it on video. It's pushing me back. Look, it seems it's perfect. Why is yours dodge? Oh, it's, it's not quite on. Yeah. But that's because yours was further back than hers. Yeah, but every time you reverse back, this lifts up into the air and starts sliding Yeah, back. you've got to go like that, isn't it? Yeah, in that case, you just push it forward. I can't, because that um, is there. So when yeah. you drive up, it like pushes me up. Yeah, but if you do it right down here, like this, eh? That's what I was doing. I've had my foot. Okay, then, so yeah, should we try yeah. again, then? Shall I pull off it? I have my foot in here. And we'll try again, yeah? How you put rock, rock Seems it's perfect. Down. Well, it wants to be up on the ramp really properly, doesn't it? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just... Should we try again or not? Yeah, we'll try again. One more time. Let's go! Right. No. They're gonna like slide out. Wait, 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 they're not level. Yeah, you need to push the door. Wait, 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 not there. Alright, put yours in the safe. No, you need to put yours straight now. Really? It's straight. It's Alright. Good. Yeah. Good. Happy? Yeah. Pushing me. It's not. It's not on properly again. Watch the video back. You saw that. Right. I was. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's what I did. Right. You ready? Yeah. yeah. I am. Stop. Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> that is fucking scary. <laughs>
No, every time I put my foot on it, it just pushed the thing backwards. <coughs> what happened? So every time I put my foot here, this would lift, this would go down, lift up into the air. Did you have a problem, Cena? No. Not at all, did you? Maybe the Maybe. gymnast just got whopped by his girlfriend. She's much stronger than you. Girl power! <laughs> Don't get all upset about it. I'm Cena not. beat you. <laughs> the video is going to show that you were weak, Brian.